the same, uh, there is only a drafting of, of some secondary legislation. So the general result, I would say, there is a progress, but yet it's slow, we have to move more fast. And uh, also, uh, our uh, what position is that the main champion now in energy sector is the parliament uh, and implementation, as it was, it is, it is, it was also mentioned today, is ahead in energy sector. Yes, it will be difficult, but uh, for us it means that there should be strong monitoring teams and groups in, in, in NGOs and think tanks who will monitor how different institutions, regulators, ministries, local governments implement the legislation, implement the rules which actually the parliament adopted. The next slide, please. Yes, I will, I will be very, very quick, sorry. Business ties, uh, uh, we have progress there. And just some examples uh, of these circles shows the import gas in Ukraine. If in 2014 we had only one, at least one major, one major country which imported gas, it was a state company. Now we have 15 additional companies who import gas to Ukraine. And Ukrainian business is a part of uh, European networks in nuclear sector, in gas, electricity, and in the world. So we do have some progress in relations between Europe, Ukraine, and European countries. The next slide, please. Um, energy independence, which also was also mentioned today. Uh, this slide shows how Ukraine decreased its dependency from Russian gas. If in 2014 we were dependent for on more than 60 percent of Russian gas, uh, last year we spent without Russian gas, only with the European. Uh, and you also can see that the volumes of import also are decreasing. The next slide, please. Here, a uh, map showing the energy efficiency problems. Also, I stated already that energy efficiency is not very, is moving not very fast. Uh, on a local level, because of higher prices uh, and tariffs on gas and electricity, People started with some energy efficiency measures, like isolations and others, and local governments helped them. Uh, those uh, regions marked with green show how many regions already started to work with, with households to help them with credits and energy efficiency programs. Uh, but again, we do need a legislation, a primary legislation, to involve more funds to help people on a local level. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, strategic issues. Uh, we have a number of strategies and national plans in energy. Some of them, like uh, energy strategy, and national plan on energy efficiency, national plan on renewables, are already adopted. Some of them, like uh, low carbon strategy and national uh, large combustion plan emissions, um, uh, plant emissions uh, is only developed. But the idea or the, the, the goal for the government should be to harmonize all of them because now we are not harmonized yet. Next slide, please. The last, the last one. Yes, I promise. But the most, I think, important here. Yes, uh, this is a more simple issue uh, because, because association agreement also means security for both partners. <coughs> and uh, this is uh, this is um, map was marked by some of these Central European uh, think tank. But by red, you will see how many countries will suffer with, uh, when the Nord Stream 2 uh, will be built. And uh, you already can see how countries which will feel the lack of, of, of their transit road, transport road, uh, how they behavior and, and how they already raise their voices against these issues. And if you add uh, building a um, Turkish stream, more countries will be involved in these discussions, which I think, and most of experts think, will not add to the one voice policy of the European countries in energy sector, and will not add to the building strong positions <laughs> towards uh, su suppliers from third countries. So, uh, 
just to think whether we do want not only economic issues, but whether we do want the economic, the political fights and political quarrels uh, in the euro. Thank you again, uh, and uh, we'll be back to ask all the questions. Thank you. Um, we'll go on uh, as the agenda mentions. So we we'll let uh, one person from the DG home who uh, will be very short and uh, is uh, knowledgeable uh, on uh, Ukraine. But please, we are late, so stay short, like four minutes each. Because we also want questions from the people, otherwise uh, they listen to us and then they, are not, they don't have the possibility to, to ask questions and they never get the opportunity to answer. So the next is uh, Katerina Zarembo. She's Deputy Director, Institute of Work Policy. Uh, I like the title uh, of her presentation or for thoughts, EU-Ukraine Association Relations, a Marathon for Two. Thank you, Mrs. Makarev. Uh, I will try to be brief and I will say that uh, in the first place, the EU-Ukraine political dialogue in the recent months has been quite smooth, so to say, with a lot of approvals uh, that Ukraine received from the EU meaning both the positive progress report of the association agreement, the approval of Ukraine's action plan towards certain districts of Luhansk and uh, Donetsk regions, uh, the already approved um, uh, accomplishment of Ukraine by Ukraine of the uh, visa liberalization action plan. So it's probably the first time for in much, much time uh, that the goal is in the EU court now, with Ukraine awaiting uh, now the granting of the visa uh, uh, regime uh, and also the complete ratification of the association agreement. As you all know well, Ukraine has been implementing the association agreement since 2014 without waiting uh, neither for uh, the ratification by all of the member states nor for the finalization of the national referendum um, story. Uh, the uh, Ukrainian experts, the suicide experts, have estimated that uh, its implementation has been and good luck. We'll uh, help you, we'll support you. Just call, uh, give a ring, and uh, we do whatever we can because uh, we feel we are all together in the same uh, boat. Yes, and help to keep the boat. Uh, uh, upon the sea and the yes, and go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.